Yo, what's up guys, this is Spectre and I'm finally back with another movie making video which hopefully will help each one of you that are using Vegas Pro to edit your projects. So what I'm talking about in particular is the preview window lag which often occurs in Vegas once you add many clips and many effects to your project. I've been struggling with this a lot in the past, when I started to edit a new montage it was fine at the start, but once I kept editing and added multiple effects, transitions and so on, it got to a point that I couldn't even see what I was editing and I had to pre-render or render my clips each time I added some effects so I can basically see how it looks like. This took entire hours from my time and it was so frustrating that I even considered to stop editing at some point. But after doing some research and trying multiple settings, I believe I found out like almost everything you need to know in order to fix this and I can say that it was a lifesaver. So I decided to put everything in a video so hopefully you guys won't have to go through all the pain. So let's begin. Now as you guys can see I have a clip imported here in a new project and uh, one of the most important settings is the preview window quality which is right here. So I'm currently set to best full which means the preview window will have the best quality so I can see all the pixels right here. This clip in particular, because it's a new project, won't be laggy at all. But I can show you my latest project, which is So Mad Montage. And I'm gonna try to play it so you guys can see <laughs> the exact editing in action, like how it looks without any of the preview lag fix applied to it, okay? So let me try to play it. By the way, I just muted the song for uh, copyright purpose. So I just started it. Yep. This is how it looks like pretty much. So first things first, as I said earlier, preview quality it's the most important option. If it's set to best, you can go to draft half or draft quarter. This will lower the quality only for the preview guys. So once you render your clip, it won't look, it won't look like this. It will look like the exact settings you have configured in your project settings and your render settings. So this is the first step, lowering the quality. Right guys, so the second thing would be straight when you open your new project for the first time. You will see that you get this prompt message and this basically means that uh, Vegas is asking you if you want to synchronize the clip resolution and FPS and settings with your project settings. So usually I used to click no because I used to configure my project settings manually. but in this case, if you want to reduce the uh, preview lag, it's recommended to click yes. And you can even configure the project settings specifically for reducing the, uh, the lag you see. So once you click yes, you can go in the project settings. And right here, disabling resample helps. Also, some guys mentioned that uh, you could even uh, select this, uh, the interlace method to none. And usually when I edit my montages, I'm gonna go to the project settings and set a high resolution like this. So this is to render it in 1440p, but you guys can even lower the resolution to HD only. And you can even put 30 FPS. And you edit like this. And once you're done with the editing, you can change the project settings to 1440p and render the clip. And that's pretty much it. This resolution thing helps a lot, as I noticed. Now let's go to the third step, which is here in Options, Preferences and we go to video tab if you just installed vegas or you haven't configured it uh, like ever you will see that 
in this tab we have 200 megabytes of ram allocated to vegas pro so this value is insanely low and what i recommend you guys to use is pretty much a third of your ram so if you have like 16 gigs you can type here 5000 or uh, if you're monitoring the uh, task manager in memory and you see that you have plenty of ram you can just type zero ram here and vegas will just uh, will just draw how much memory it needs i'm currently on 32 gigs so i'm just gonna leave that to zero and that works uh, pretty fine for me next thing would be the gpu acceleration of video processing right here i have selected my video card some guys uh, mentioned that disabling this would help so if you set it to off but depends on the gpu that you have it might worsen up or even <laughs> help you so you guys need to test this out uh, me currently having a rtx 2060 super after doing some tests i realized that having this enabled actually helps so i'm just gonna keep it like that okay next thing would be in options again if you have vega 17 or 18 or even 15 i think if you hold control and shift and click on options you will see that you now have this internal tab right here normally if you don't do that you won't have it available so Control shift click options and press internal if you have an older version of vegas like vegas uh, 14 i think it was or 13 whatever just click options and hold control and shift and click preferences and once you do that the internal tab will appear here but for vegas 18 or 17 control shift and click internal right here you'll have to search for multi-stream render and we will set this to true i'm just gonna press enter click apply and that's pretty much it now back to preferences in uh, file input output right here or file io you will see that uh, there's a possibility that you guys have both of these options right here so you can either try uh, each one of them in particular and see if it uh, if it helps you out or not for me i realized that having this enabled would help with the uh, preview lag a bit so i just enabled that and clicked apply you need to go to preferences again and right here you will see somewhere the preview device so by default it's selected to windows graphics card and you guys can try to uh, uncheck this optimize gpu display performance and you can try it like this to see if uh, the uh, window lag is gone or not the preview lag but what i found out is uh, that selecting this option right here which is ohci compliant whatever would help me the most so i'm just gonna stick with this from now on and just edit like this so i'll just click apply and that's it further into the uh, list of things that you can do would be just to disable tracks like when you're creating a montage depending on what kind of effects you apply or whatever you can have multiple tracks like video tracks yeah so you see i have multiple tracks for instance uh this clip above right here i think it's the it's an effect you see so i can just go and mute this track or i can select the track i want to see which is this number four this is the main track I can click this button solo button and it will mute 
all other video tracks and display just this one in particular so yeah this helps also next thing and i believe this is one of the most important things once you add your clips in the timeline right here you will notice that the clips will appear in project media so each time you add something else like even uh, an effect or a sound let's go to media generator not effect a media generator i wanted to say so let me add some text all right and back to project media you will see that right now i'll, ha I'll have the text displayed as well so uh, one of the most important options as i mentioned earlier is to go here in project media you select all the clips but be careful not to select uh, sounds or uh, text or uh, something else different than videos because then you won't have the option the option is pretty much right click on the video and create a video proxy so once you do this you will see that right here in the bottom left corner there's something loading so this basically means that vegas is currently reading our clip and it's trying to build a new separate clip in a, a, a way that vegas can easily read so with the uh, video proxy enabled i realized that the uh, uh, window preview lag is actually reduced by a lot so i totally recommend on using this feature Usually when I start making a new montage, I import all my clips in the project media or in the timeline. And after that, I just go in project media, select all my clips and right click and click on create video proxy. And it will create a video proxy for each clip in particular. This can take like, I don't know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So just <laughs> uh, let Vegas do its job. I don't know, go get coffee and uh, come back when it's finished. But you shouldn't, you shouldn't ignore this option. And last but not least would be the pre-render option, which I used to spam a lot, but it's good when you use it like a couple times in, uh, in an edit, not just each time every 30 seconds. Pretty much what you have to do, let's say you added all the effects like for this and you select the area in particular and just if you use Vega 17 or 18 or I don't know something new press shift and M and you'll be able to pre-render your video so uh, your uh, preview lag will disappear 100% if the effects you use are CPU or, uh, I don't know, are intensive uh, on the project, you can re-render it in something like this, like just HD, 60 FPS and uh, small bitrate. I don't know, I just have this value, but you can have 2 million, let's say, and it will still look decent. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, so I pre-rendered it and you will see that this is the pre-rendered area, it even shows you above. So once I play this, it even looks decent. You see all these pixels because we pre-rendered it in uh, 2 million bitrate or 2000 whatever. But you can actually tell what you edited, right? You can see the transitions and everything. All right, now after doing all these settings, let's just restart Vegas and see how the, the project looks like now with the new stuff. All right guys, now we are back and let's see how the clip looks like. Right, so it looks 
way better uh, you can still play with the preview quality maybe this is uh, way too low for you you guys can go to preview half or preview auto and see if that's okay with you guys you can see we still have some fps right here like if you if you want to compare it with the uh, version from the start be my guest but i'm really happy with this quality so this sums up the video thank you so much for watching uh, if you still have any questions or uh, i don't know maybe you have some other extra features that uh, i didn't include or options or settings uh, just uh, leave them in the comments i usually reply to all the comments and you can even uh, write me a message on instagram if you'd like to ask something in particular yeah thank you so much for watching uh, don't forget to leave a like to this video because it's gonna help me a lot and uh, i'll catch you in the next video see you guys